Hello, I'm Phil Manson, and welcome to Morning Prayer. We've been in Psalm 126 this week, and the major theme of this psalm is joy. The first three verses teach us that joy has a history, that God has done great things in the past to restore our fortunes. The middle verse speaks to the psalmist's present situation. He remembers God's great doings and is filled with joy, but his present prayer is that the Lord will restore their fortunes once again like streams in the Negev, the desert. Just as joy has a history, so Peterson says joy is nurtured by anticipation. We have four grandchildren, and with each of them, when it was announced that a little bun was in the oven, Joy was nurtured by anticipation. Fear and worry have a way of stealing future joy. They hinder joy by implementing the futile strategy of eliminating things that hurt. Fear and worry say things like, who wants to bring a child or grandchild into our COVID-19 infested trigger happy world? Peterson says, there is plenty of suffering on both sides, past and future. The joy comes because God knows how to wipe away tears and, in his resurrection work, create the smile of new life. Joy is what God gives, not what we work up. Jesus modeled the joy that is nurtured by anticipation. Like childbirth, the road to joy goes through pain. And that's why the Hebrews writer urges us to, what the Message Bible says, keep your eyes on Jesus, who both began and finished this race we're in. Study how he did it. Because he never lost sight of where he was headed. That exhilarating finish in and with God. He could put up with anything along the way. Cross, shame, whatever. And now he's there, in the place of honor, right alongside God. So when you find yourselves flagging in your faith, go over that story again, item by item, that long litany of hostility he plowed through. That will shoot adrenaline into your souls. Let's pray together. And say, Father, we need a shot of that adrenaline into our souls today. Thank you for a new day to live and to breathe and have our being in you. We are grateful for your past faithfulness, which gives us confidence in your future provision. You've told us not to worry about what we will eat or wear, that you care for the birds of the air and the flowers of the field, and we can trust you to care for us. We look back, and we see your care in the past. We are confident of your care for us in the days ahead. Apart from you, Jesus, the future doesn't give us much hope at all. And so we fix our eyes on you to finish the work you began in us, to bring faith to completion. So grant us eyes of faith to see beyond the pain and suffering of this life, that if we endure, we will also reign with you forever, where the second death holds no power over us. So may we make up our minds this morning to forget what is behind and strain toward what is ahead, not carelessly, or recklessly, but risking faithfully to press on toward the goal to win the prize for which you have called us up heavenward in Christ Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. <laughs>